Hey, I am talking to Ed Helms and Janice Schmeeding of Rutherford Falls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <Ed. laughs> hey, buddy. How are you? <laughs> Uh, beyond excited. Hey, I felt like I, right when they were, t- I was in the journalist room and they're telling me, okay, you're getting ready to go interview Ed Helms. Janice. You know, those, when you're on the ride, it's going click, 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 click. That's how I felt. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> so, Hey guys, what are we here for? Rutherford Falls season two. Oh my God. And how much has changed in the landscape of the television world for, for native folks and the interactions between folks like Nathan Rutherford and Regan Wells. Oh my God, <laughs> you guys, I am so, ha- let me shut up. How do you guys feel? I mean, this is <laughs> just incredible. Well, we're just thrilled to get yeah. another season of Rutherford Falls out there. Uh, and I think we're also insanely proud of this season and excited for people to see it because it's uh, it's all of the, uh, it's, it's, it's all of this same kind of like, stew of issues and Mm -hmm. uh comedy but i think it's even funnier yes i'm excited it's a thicker stew it's a thicker stew so tell me um i guess without revealing spoilers of what we can expect i mean janet your character was really starting to get in there you know what i'm saying you were really starting to explore who you were and then you know ed your character was going off into orbit somewhere that i was just like (laughs) oh my god please keep taking me on this ride wherever you're going so um what what can folks expect yeah regan is uh you know like you said uh, she's sort of on that upward trajectory and um that is coming with its own challenges because you know whenever we have leadership within our community there are it you know there are challenges from people and from uh, the systems um so yeah she's really trying to step into her power as clumsily as uh, that may be <laughs> um and you know she's bringing more people into her orbit so we have a in lot of new guests this season a uh, native and non-native and um and uh it gets a little hairy yeah her. what about you ed where, where are you going off in this trajectory of of the world of nathan rutherford what can we expect to see? Where, where are you exploring? Well, um, like you said, at the end of season one, Nathan uh, has a just full on identity crisis <laughs> meltdown and and is launched into orbit. Um, <laughs> and I think at the beginning of season two, you're sort of seeing him crash landing. Right. Uh, it's, okay. it's not a pretty landing. It's uh, <laughs> it's mismanaged. It's uh, <laughs> He's still struggling to make the right choices. Um, uh, I think that Nathan has a lot of um, just fear about navigating things the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, to his credit, he wants to do things right. Right. But um, but that fear is a is a hurdle that um, not only helps him make more bad decisions, but, uh, but, but keeps him from growing kind of as quickly as he probably should. So season two, um, he's, uh, kind of coming back into the earth's atmosphere and, uh, there's friction on (laughs) reentry. You know, I have to tell you, um, that I had all these questions planned, but I gotta tell you, just looking at the two of you, you two right there sitting there right now i've got to say are just these shining lights these <laughs> these shining beacons of like of of bringing stuff as gifts to 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 someone like me i i still feel let, let me I just came here for the interview after having been in a doctor's office because I fractured my arm and oh, I fractured no. my arm. No, that's fine. It's, it's actually not that bad. 
but I was doing it because I'm letting my dog pull me on a skateboard, right? Dumb, right? But I'm a kid because, because I'm a dumb kid. But the thing is, is, is I still have this kid joy in my life. And that's why I'm a Rotten Tomatoes critic. That's why I love entertainment world. So I'm looking at And it's at why me. you are the best. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and Helen did not just say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so i'm sitting here i'm looking at you two and i'm going oh my gosh like literally it's like the sh light is just sh exploding off you and it's like these gifts you're bringing to us and i i gotta say you know not a question but thank you thank you to the two of you for what you're doing for bringing this incredibly wonderful, hilarious, broken, destructive relationship between Reagan, <laughs> Regan Wells and Nathan Ruff, Rutherford to, to the world. It's, it's, it's joy to behold. And it's like you are these groundbreaking characters supported by, you know, Michael and, and Jesse and, and Dustin and, 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 and the wonderful work Sierra's doing. You guys are just incredible. And these two beacons just sitting there of like power ready to just deliver. And I, I just, I just got to say, thank you. It's, it's a gift. You know, I know that's not an interview question, but I had to tell you that because wow. Um, well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll say this, I'll pass your thank you to the writers and, and producers of the show and, and, you know, our designers and our cast and crew, because everybody works so hard and makes sure that um, not only that we're writing really, um, incredible developed characters and a rich creating a rich rich world on Rutherford Falls but also that um you know while we're making it the morale is is good and and we've been you know working through some challenging circumstances but everyone has been so you know giving their all and and really showing up for this show mm -hmm. and it is truly appreciated um yeah. and I'm so glad that audiences are responding oh uh. And it is truly appreciated. I can tell you, I've appreciated you all so much. So I have time, I believe, for one more question. And I was just saying, what does it feel to be in this arena of the world as we are right now in film and television that is embracing diversity, that is embracing, you know, all forms of identity and gender identities and, and native native identities? Uh, you know, Janet, you're, you're, you are just blasting into this and ed you you are bringing a powerhouse of of your experience and where you've been and who you are into this how does that feel it feels very meaningful to be a part of this moment in television and movies and uh and to be on this particular show uh doing what it's doing i think not just for the Native American community, but for, um, I mean, I know as a white person, like I learned so much being a part of this show and, uh, and I hope that, uh, I just hope people from all different kinds of backgrounds see this show and see a little bit of themselves in at least one or two characters and, uh, and in the characters that aren't like themselves, they can find some empathy there. Um, and I always go back to this, even no matter how sort of important feeling or meaningful something is like we're comedians and it's really important to me that it's also hilarious. And <laughs> I, I always feel like that's kind of the best way to, uh, to build empathy is to kind of build shared laughter. So if, if we're doing that and successfully, then, then. I'm insanely proud and humbled to be uh, a part of something that is doing that. And I really, really appreciate your gratitude expression, Vince. That means the world to me. Thank oh you. Oh, my God. Thank you. But I'm just feeling I'm feeling the love and I'm just so excited. And, and uh, God, I just know this season is going to kick butt again. And, uh, dude, I, I just... Both of you, I, I, I swear to God, I, I never thought this was going to happen. I yeah. never thought it was going to happen. I never, ever thought it was going to. I thought I was stuck with stagecoach for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. I never thought, never thought 
Native Americans were going to have accurate representation of TV and film. Holy freaking cow. You both are groundbreakers. And I will never forget you for the rest of my life. I'm not kidding. I will never, ever forget what you've done, ever. And I hope to continue to be friends. Love you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Thank you. <laughs>